Well, in this video, I'll show you uh, a browser which is quite new and written in lips, which is called Next Browser N Y X T. So, because I run different distribution and their latest offering doesn't uh, consist of the distribution I sit on basically so I build it from source okay so the first thing first I need to get the source from their website uh, I'm going to search next on github Uh, this is the site Atlas Engineer next okay so all I do I'll go here this is the latest release okay so out of this I grab this one uh, the next source with sub modules I grab this one and I have downloaded it already okay so if I go here I create a directory next and I just inflated the 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 tarball I get from that site this one is getting from here this one okay and I then as per their their instruction or if you can see install right all I have to do I have to do make make all okay you you should read through this install file for the specific instruction I didn't need to so all I have to do I just to do a make install okay and then uh, make all and make install make all and make install these two instruction I have to do and make install I make it sudo make install so it, it will get installed system wide and it will going to access the webkit installation also because my webkit installation are parts all all in the system so I make it a make make it make install with the sudo so the file system can be accessed which require which requires super user privilege okay once I did that once I did that so it'll it'll create two files here this is xdg see this this stuff will be created for you and if you inspect all those files so you you can understand from the name also right what are the files if you do not understand i i expect you to look inside it okay look inside it So, if you look inside, it, these are written all in lips. Okay. So it is very customizable. The only thing is that you have to have little bit of lips language understanding or know-how. I have absolutely minuscule understanding of lips. Almost nil somehow I managed to understand few things here and there with the help of that I try to customize and follow the other stuff as simple as that okay my lips knowledge are pathetic no pun intended seriously anyway 
it will create a few files here also you dot local share next and it will put up this stuff here also right so these two directories will be created once you successfully build the next browser from source okay so dot local share next this folder will be created and this file will be there okay and dot config next file okay so I have then I bounded it or you can run it from the CLI and I bounded it with a key so I can easily launch it so I launch it it is look like this okay so the initial sc screen will be like this so you can move between the buffer it it has got three modes it has got CUA mode normal modes which is it has got VI mode and it has got Emacs mode okay I'm running it on Emacs mode you can run it on CUA mode or VI mode as per your liking to move between the buffer see on the on the st I have few buffers open right to move between them I use as the as the default binding show you control and right bracket right control and right bracket control and right bracket control and right bracket and if you wanted to know there is a list binding right if you click on that see you see all the bind default bindings which are there and it will take you some time to get accustomed with all this binding and all this stuff now I am discovering something few of the binding is interfering with my window manager bindings and not working properly that wholly my problem because I made it such a way that it's not work it when when these bindings are done they assume some environment that this binding does not exist in that environment unfortunately I have few already bindings which is which is already existed in my window manager which is conflicting so the binding is not working properly that's all right that's okay so you can you can you can manually do that there is a facility you can easily do that right so if you go here or anywhere right you press control space it will allow you see there is a execute command text box if you if you go here this many options are there the option are clearly it just like emacs mini buffer to give you all the commands if you do not want to use the binding which might be interfering with your window manager or some other program like in my case you can simply select this from this buffer this uh, drop down stuff so which will which will do the things for for you right nice so this is a browser okay there are so many options out here so many options two thing come primarily at this moment I'm trying it which everyone should try out first so if you press control G it will go away that mini buffer will go away. so for instance as I said you need to control and bracket to move around the move with the buffer or you can do control X B see all the buffer listing control X and B bring out this uh, this buffer menu right bring brings out this buffer menu okay so for instance if you want to create a new buffer if I dismiss this if you create a new buffer all of a, all you do you need to create a new buffer right make buffer see it is there you can bind it with a key binding if you want I haven't tried that yet just do a make buffer then you do control L okay now if I go here and type 
https vim dot org see it open like this ok so two things you need to create a buffer first with the help of make buffer once you enter it make buffer then you have to do then you have to do control L if you go here and if you see see this is the way the buffer has to be switched between the buffers back and forth ok and you need to do so and if you want to copy that if you want you can open a uh, external file with your choice of buffer choice of application whether you want to open it on vi or if you want to open it on emacs it ups to you you can modify the lips file which is here if you look at this keybind dot here I'm not sure this is this is a style sheet how a style sheet css kind of stuff style dot lips where you can change it, it will look something else okay you can easily change that So, so much of hang honking around, I don't know why. so these are the file you need to play around to get stuff right
and there are so many key binds so it will take you some time to get accustomed right so yeah give it a give it a shot if you if you if you find a little bit of free time so and you should get it from here in i i build it from source uh, i build it from source because i i hop onto different uh, different uh, places in different distribution uh, specific few I run from ages so and I want a single place where I can access this stuff and you can get the you can also get there is a there is a binary also right so if we, if if your waste manager uh, if your waste manager allow to allow to uh, get these things you can you should get it I mean package manager where you are sitting right and it is uh, okay here is a download section you can explore it right so I'm just uh, giving you a note uh, this many distribution they have got okay mm, so you can read through till now I'm I'm just playing with it and uh, it, it looks all right to me but let's see I, I need to get comfortable with it then only I will decide which one how I'm going to exploit it or use it right if I'm not going if I'm not get comfortable with it right so hope this will give uh, some sort of uh, some sort of uh, interest to some of the people I'm not expecting everyone give it a shot because I explore it it doesn't mean you like it or you will explore it uh, I'm just exploring it okay and you might give it a shot okay okay thanks for watching